So my little niece wants spaghetti. So I'm gonna make her spaghetti. Let's go to the market. Hi, Hi, Sao chop. Okay, sao chop được. Cảm ơn nhiều. See what else I got. Cà chua bao nhiêu một ký? Ba chục một ký. Được. What else can I put in this? Maybe this will be good. Bao nhiêu chị? Ba mươi lăm ngàn một ký. Okay, được. Năm mươi lăm ngàn. Năm mươi lăm. Cảm ơn nhiều. So here's the spread. Let's do Vietnamese countryside spaghetti. Cilantro, baby mustard leaf, tomatoes, onion, garlic, shallot, oyster sauce, laughing cow cheese, ground pork, fresh shrimp, spaghetti. First, I'm gonna peel the shrimp. Peel the shrimp? Yeah. The peel. Peel the brain. What's wrong with that? It's good. All right, let's give this a rough chop. All right, so it's shrimp are cut. Let's wash our board. I'm gonna cut up a little shallot and uh, just a little bit of garlic. I'm gonna cut this thin. I like how you cut it thin. It's as thin as a dime. <laughs> All right, let's go fry this. I'm gonna throw some oil in this shallot and uh, shrimp heads. That's probably a little too much, but it's hard to do this one-handed. Let's turn it on. And I'm gonna fry them now until they get a little bit of color. And as they fry, I'm gonna try to smash them and get the uh, juice out of the heads. So once I get a little bit of color on the garlic, once it gets a little bit fragrant, then I'll add some water to it. All right, so there's some bubbling, there's some fragrance coming out. We're at the very beginning of garlic getting toasted. So I'm gonna go in with water. Probably about there. That was probably four or five cups. All right, so now I got this broth starting. I'm gonna let it boil for probably 20 minutes or something and I'll come back and taste it. All right, let's clean the mustard leaf. I'm just gonna go through and look at it quickly. Maybe just pick the bottom off. This is a very young mustard leaf. You can see they're quite small. When they're full grown, they get real big. The flavor gets a little bit stronger, but these are nice. They're young and tender. I was gonna put the mustard leaf just in the spaghetti itself as a finishing vegetable, but I think the whole crew here is gonna find the spaghetti to be on the heavier side because this is typically what they eat is not they don't eat spaghetti normally especially finishing it with that like laughing cow cheese a little bit of creaminess that's gonna be from that so I'm gonna just use this uh, to make a, like a side soup so that they can kind of balance in between bites and have that heavier spaghetti and then have nice light soup uh, on the side I'm just gonna rip this as I'm doing it so otherwise it, I could leave them whole it's just gonna be too big so All right, let's check the broth. I'm gonna go a little bit longer. I'm just gonna skin this. Okay, all right, let's add some salt to this. Maybe not that much. This is some shrimp seasoning, or you can use chicken bouillon, or, M or uh, mushroom seasoning, or just straight MSG. And this is some uh, MSG, some boat nang. Boom. This'll be like canned, but it'll be like nothing they ever tasted. All right, we'll get started on the sauce work. I'll dice up two onion. I can't sit down and prep, I can't do it. This table is so low and it hurts my back, but I can't sit down. I can't sit down and do knife work, it just doesn't feel right. I'm gonna cut this small dice, what? Where do onion come from? From the ground. The ground? Yeah, from the farm. I hate small cutting boards. Yeah, me too. You too? I'm gonna cut two shallots too. You want to say the inside of plum tomato? A plum tomato, like that. I'm going to cut these up pretty small, small dice. Let's go in the backyard and get some chilies. Like this one right here. Yeah, let me get that one too. Let me see if I can find more that are red. These are small, but they are potent. Now I'm going to grab one more. I don't want to blow the kids out. Okay, all right, let's start the sauce. All right, I'm gonna start with some oil in the pan. Not much, because the pork has a lot of fat in it. 
All right, so now I want to get the garlic and the shallot in here and fry it and try to get a little bit of color. I'm going to throw in some black pepper here so it can fry a little bit, get some fragrance off of it. All right, I'm getting some color. This is actually rice wine. I'm kind of thinking white wine, but this is rice wine. So I'll do a little bit. And I'll cook this until it's dry. All right, I'm throwing in the fresh chili now. And now the ground pork. All right, now I want to see a little bit of color on the pork. All right, so now the pan is dry. I can hear the sizzling of the pork. It's starting to fry. All right, I'm going to kind of deglaze it again with some fish sauce. So now I can smell the fragrance of the fish sauce coming off of there. I'm waiting for it to get dry again, listening to the sizzling of the pan. So I'm going to go in with my onion now. To help my onion release its liquid quicker, because I don't really want to fry the onion. I don't want color on there. I'm going to put a little bit of salt in. Now, I don't want any more depthness. I don't want to put any color on the onion. I just want that to sweat. So I'm watching it close. If I see the onion take on any color, I'm going to add the tomatoes immediately to add some liquid to stop the cooking. I'll add a little bit of shrimp powder. This is sugar, because these tomatoes are going to be really sour. Okay, my onions are almost translucent. I'm going to add the tomatoes now. Okay, at this point I'm going to add some oyster sauce, probably like, ooh, that was a little bit, maybe three tablespoons, I was going for two, but that'll be okay. So I'm going to cover it, turn it down to low, and check it every five or ten minutes, keep it stirring. I want the tomatoes to lose all their moisture, cook out into a sauce, kind of have a ragu-y type thing, and we'll see. I, this, is, uh, this is the only strainer I have. I have to go to the market and buy a real strainer. Um, so I tried to let my shrimp stock cool down a bit before I strain it, but this is it. So I'm gonna strain my stock. Okay. All right, and I'll reserve this and I'll dump the heads. I probably added a cup of water to this. Has the pan, which is a little bit dry. It tastes pretty good. It needs more time. And the meat's really tough still. It's been cooking for about 35 minutes. I'm gonna need to walk away and do some other things. So I'm gonna add a good amount of water here, about, an, uh, about another cup and a half. Kick it up to around medium with the lid on. So far, so good. All right, so this sauce has been cooking for about an hour now. It needs a little bit of salt, but I'm gonna be adding pasta water to it later, so I'm gonna be careful about over-seasoning right now. I'm gonna add a bit more uh, oyster sauce. These kids love this laughing cow cheese. They already ate half of it, so I have four left. I'm gonna peel them, and I'm just gonna throw it in with the shrimp because I'm gonna probably put the cheese in at the shrimp at the same time. So this is like pretty authentic Italian, right? While I'm waiting for my pasta water to come to boil, I'm just going to cut up the cilantro. All right, my pasta water is boiling. I'll drop my nudes. As the uh, sauce is drying out, I'll start adding some of this pasta water just to keep it uh, from burning and trying to get some of that starch in there to thicken it up a little bit. So the pasta is almost there. I'm going to save some of the pasta water just in case I need it later. I'm going to give this one more minute. And then I'm gonna cook it in the sauce. I'm gonna finish it in the sauce. All right, so I'm gonna add the pasta water's turned off, shrimp and the cheese is going in here. Let's go strain the pasta. Pumps out. I worry about your feet. Okay. I just love feet next to my pasta. Okay. Let's add some of this. I'm not gonna add all of it, it's too much. taste it. I might need a little more fish sauce. I'm out of salt, so I can't put any salt in. Okay, I think it's there. All right, so I'm gonna throw some cilantro in. I want to keep this as traditional as possible, so absolutely cilantro, of course. And now I have my shrimp base. I'm gonna put my mustard leaf right in. Bring this to a boil and boil it for just a second or two, just until the leaves wilt. Now, I would assume to most people the pasta is more interesting, but actually this 
the flavor of the roasted shrimp shell as a gan, to me, is super interesting. This is a very special meal, so I want to use my nicest plates. You like it? Yeah. Thank you. But I think this can is cool. Is that the shrimp head? But roast it. <laughs> yeah, the broth is so good. Do you want some soup? It's really good soup. Do you want to just have a little sip of it? Really good.